come and meet Nicole and come and meet Harry um, because they're also involved in very, very different types of businesses uh, here in Liverpool. Morning to you both. Morning. You're both sitting there in very light clothing and I'm freezing. Well done. Um, <laughs> Nicole, so you work, you go into people's homes as a care worker. It might be someone uh, receiving end-of-life care. They might need personal care, a bit of companionship. Your workers, your colleagues, are presumably delighted that the price of petrol is being frozen. Yeah. But what about what your clients are saying to you and what about your overall costs as a business? Yeah, so people rely on Caremark coming in each day to provide care and support. Um, so Caremark is supportive in, you know, paying the fair wage, everything. Um, but that means an impact on the client, so charging the clients more for their care. And you were saying earlier, some people phone you up and say, we need this care for my dad, for my sister, yeah. we can't afford it. And you worry about those people who aren't getting the support they need through the local authority. Yeah, so I think there should definitely be more funds and put into adult health and social care, because that is the case. Some people can't afford care, unfortunately. That's horrible to hear, isn't it? It's getting people through the doors at yeah, the moment. Yeah, pretty much the same for a better salary for the job that our care and support workers do. Um, it would definitely help if there was a better salary for them. Um, it would entice them into the job more. What would you say to the Chancellor if you could speak to him now? What do um, you need to Put hear? more funds into adult social care, definitely. Because what are the consequences when we're not getting that? Well, some people mightn't receive care that they need, just to not be able to afford it, and not enough staff. Obviously, if we're struggling to recruit more staff, it's having an impact on the care and support workers that we already do have, like the workload and everything. So you're retaining workers at the moment because you were saying you love what you do? Yeah. So our care and support workers do love what they do, and um, that's what makes them so great. Um, and our care market is a supportive company, um, but obviously, as a business where we take on a lot of pri it's private, and um, there's not a lot of funding. There's no funding in it actually. And it's people who need to have that twenty-five pounds, say, an hour in order to pay it. It's not a luxury everybody has. Thank you both for explaining the needs of your businesses and the sectors that you're in.